I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. Peace like a river in my soul. I got peace like a river. Peace like a river. Peace like a river in my soul. I want to talk to you this morning about uh, what you look at, what you look at, because, uh, you know, I sang that song, I got peace like a river, and when you look at this side, when you look up through here, although it looks beautiful, and it's refreshing, it's not really peaceful. Uh, there's rapids there, there's noise there, and uh, you can see the trees laying across that have been washed downstream uh, when we've had uh, torrents of rain come down through here. But just follow me for a moment. I want to show you something over here. The same body of water. I just turned around and looked the other direction. Something going on underneath the bridge. <laughs> you see how peaceful this is? No rapids here. Calm. The collected. This is where they do their fishing probably, right in here. Now this is only 10 feet apart. 10 feet apart. You know, on one side, on the left side, it's rough. On the right side, it's calm and peaceful. I think I need to sing it again. I got peace like the river. I got peace like the river. I got peace like a river in my soul. I got peace like a river, I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river in my soul. You know, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our salvation. Do you think that he started this great, this great experience, this greatest relationship in your heart between you and him? to let you sit, to let you fall by the wayside, to let you be devoured by the enemy, not a chance. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the shame and endured the cross. You know, Jesus did not feel comfortable going to that cross. He looked ahead to the joy that was ahead of him, said, when I get out on the other side of this, I'll feel the joy. But right now I'm gonna do it for the joy that's gonna come because it's the right thing to do. And the right thing to do is to look at things that are peaceful. The right thing to do is to try to keep your eyes off and your mind off the torrents of tribu tribulation and, and tribulation and, and anxiety and stress and, and uh, waves and rapids and roughness. Keep your mind off of that and keep it on peace. Keep it on calmness. Uh, keep it on serenity. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is sitting down at the right hand of the Father, interceding for you and I. I can tell you, folks, if you want peace in your heart today, it'll have to come through Jesus Christ. It can't come as a result of anything else. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. The Lord can change your life, totally revolutionize your life. He can take the stress out and replace it with calmness. It doesn't mean that you won't feel some fear sometimes or even have to deal with worry sometimes. What it really means is you, like Jesus, can look ahead and say, this is all going to work out. The Lord's got this. this we're going to come out on the other side of this. So the joy that was set before me endured the cross. And right now, this isn't really a comfortable thing the world's, the whole world's in experience, but we're gonna come out of this, we really are. And, and the best thing is, we're gonna come out of it and be with the Lord someday. And so, as I go out of here, I want you to look over the, come on over here, Sherry, to the side, and, and I want you to get a picture of this uh, nice calm uh, water. Then if you swing your camera up there around Neil Klinger's sawmill there, my buddy Neil Klinger, and buddy there, okay? I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. Peace like a river in my soul. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a 
like a river, I got feet like a river in my soul. I can feel the fire burning, I can feel the fire burning, I can feel the fire burning in my soul. I can feel the fire burning, I can feel the fire burning, I can feel the fire burning in my soul. In my soul. God bless you, folks. It's uh, it's nice to be with you every day and uh, love you and uh, call us uh, right now. Right now, my announcer, Miss Charlotte Reed, <laughs> is going to tell you to stay in touch with her. Thank you for joining us again this morning. I pray that you will be blessed by these devotions. And if you are enjoying them, would you please feel free to share them and leave a comment so we know if we're reaching you, if we're helping you, and most of all, that you are being blessed today.